Creating large-scale, interactive computer simulated crowds starts with being able to animate one person correctly. With enough effort, an artist can provide a nice, handcrafted animation of a single person walking. Here is a model of a trade show floor. We can imagine it filled with people walking towards various booths, demos, exhibits, and exits. For example, this gentleman wants to walk to the purple exit. However, walking straight towards the exit is not enough. A person can easily get stuck behind an obstacle on their way. To be more intelligent, we can use global navigation to help him how to figure out how to get to his goals while still avoiding obstacles. Much like real humans have a cognitive map of places they've been or seen, we provide our virtual humans with the roadmap they can use to plan around the obstacles while still reaching their destinations. Here's a group of people all trying to get to the same exit. Unfortunately, in a virtual world, people don't know to avoid each other. As you can see at the exit, they actually walk through one another. By using our novel collision avoidance scheme based on reciprocal velocity obstacles, people no longer walk through each other. In fact, they can see collisions coming and plan around them. Let's compare the two clips. With collision avoidance turned on, you can see much more natural behavior. Let's fill the entire trade show with thousands of people. Everyone now goes to their own goal of winning collisions with nearby people and obstacles. Simulating all these people and displaying the whole scene all in real time is a challenging problem. By exploiting recent advances in computer architecture, we can harness the power of many core computing to help us solve this problem. Behind the scenes, we are using advanced GPU to render all the geometry, which represents the 3D models of the people and their world. We are also using many core CPUs to efficiently simulate the interaction between people. By distributing different people over many different cores, we can greatly speed up the computation, allowing us to simulate truly large crowds at interactive rates. As we increase the number of cores, we see an almost linear speed up in performance. Often, it's not enough to simply let the simulation evolve in a pre-programmed fashion. A user might want to change where people are going or how they're getting there. Here, we're sending everybody to the same purple exit. We can change the camera angle and watch them all come towards us. We have developed novel algorithms to direct these large crowds using simple user input to compute navigation fields. We select several people within the white circle and guide them towards the exit. Let's restart the simulation. This time, let's see how fast we can evacuate the trade show floor. Notice the counters at the top of the screen, displaying the number of people still in the trade show floor and the amount of time elapsed. Here's the view from the red exit. One can imagine using a tool like this to plan events, evaluate strategies for evacuation, or help design buildings. This could also be a great tool for people in the entertainment industry. It provides a way for animators to help control virtual crowds in movies, and can help drive AI for virtual characters in computer games. We have presented our system, which animates thousands of people using our novel global and local navigation techniques. By exploiting the parallelism present in recent many core architectures, we can simulate and render large crowds in real time and allow our user to interactively direct the crowd. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first such system capable of interactively handling large-scale crowds.